Oprah, I told you about a new move that our guy Surratt has. Uh, you bought FCX, yeah. Freeport Mac Moran. We did. So a couple of things here. One is balance sheet looks a lot better than it was years ago. So when you're going into a commodity, you want to make sure this. So we talked about cash flow is important. Secondly, the demand for copper is going to increase over time. And why do we think that? Well, it's already built into infrastructure, utilities. But if you look at the demand for EVs, you look at the demand for wind turbines, all the things that are going to be increasing down the road, that's copper. And then you look at the supply side. Well, it takes eight years to get a new copper mine up. And Freeport's got some of the best assets in North America, Indonesia. And at this price and kind of where we are, it's a great place to also play inflation because if rates are going to stay higher for longer, which we think they're going to be, I want to be in some commodities. I want to be in energy. I want to be in places that are going to actually partake in, in an economy that will do well. You use the words over time. Um, is that suggesting that this is a long term hold? So I for think, you, I don't know what your typical yeah, time frame is. Yeah, this would be a three-year hold that, that we're thinking. We, you know, it, it, look, if rates go to back to two percent, you're not going to do very well with a free port. But if rates stay at even if the what, what if, well, if that's, that's to, an interesting if, perspective. If I mean, what if rates come down, but the economy isn't this the play on this? Yes, but rates economy? go to two percent because they need to get the economy back restarted then you're, you're going to be hurt in this stock initially, right? Because demand will just be completely cut off. Well, what if rates just go lower because inflation comes down, but the economy stays strong? I, I think that's for, I mean, that could happen and the stock will do really well. But I think if, if rates stay up higher and you get demand going, they have pricing power in copper and you're going to do well either way. What about China and demand for copper given the squirreliness of their economy right now? If that is a pleasant upsize uh, built into the stock. So right now we're not forecasting that the demand for copper from China is going to do anything for the stock. This is more demand outside, especially as we've become more uh, what I would say onshoring world. So a company like Freeport that is in mainly North America and Indonesia can then can supply to different countries as well. Jimmy Princeton is squirreliness a word. <laughs> well, yeah, freshman yeah. year, I took vocabulary 101. Did Squir I? Squirrely is a word. Word. I said squirreliness. Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it, Alex. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what about FCX? Uh, FCX? Freeport. Yeah. Oh, well, I think it's, you got to really believe the economy. Wait a second. She's a growth manager. Yeah. Yeah. Really this, this, she, no, this is, she's I don't think she's manager. looked at Freeport. In, in, yeah. in, in, I haven't looked at it in five years. Yeah, it's, just, right, it's not in her. But okay. I think that if Surratt thinks that the cycle is turning, I'm with him. Okay. All right. Um, we'll take that, I guess. Josh, any interest in Freeport? No. Excellent. <laughs>